the market. It's a gorgeous little town near La Santa and we're coming here to wander around the market it's every week and have some food and then we're going to Farmara Beach to run on the beach but the tide doesn't go out until about 3 p.m. so we're going to go and do a, a barefoot run on the beach later. Ready for the barefoot run on the beach. I love, love running in bare feet. I've been a barefoot being since ever. And when I first run in my teens, 15 years old, when I joined the athletics club, it was a grass track. So I did all my training in bare feet. And have always been barefoot shoes, barefoot shoes. I then spent six years without shoes on. I ran across Spain in my bare feet in 2018 and then I was mainly in Spain and to be fair it was a little easier <laughs> being in bare feet in the warmth and then I've been back in the UK in London for four years and I've got keen on seeing how fast I can run and I put my shoes on but I live barefoot a lot, love being without shoes and love Farmara Beach and Anadi and I are going to run on Farmara Beach without any shoes on in its hard, firm sand, so it's actually perfect. Farmara Beach, beautiful Farmara. The tide's going out, we're going to clamber over the more rocky bit, and then run on the lovely hard sand. I haven't been here for four years. Lots of, did lots and lots of barefoot running here when I was training to run across Spain in my bare feet. run a couple of miles and into the wind <laughs> so I haven't been able to say a word because the wind has been making a lot of wind windiness oh that's amazing because so we're going to run back with the wind against us no the wind with us then I'm going to do a few strides and I love running in no shoes I love the feeling of the ground beneath my feet and it's said that there's a lot of good energy comes up when we run with no shoes on and being barefoot can strengthen the feet. It's also Bruce Fellow, who was an amazing runner and used to often run with no shoes, said it's the lightest shoe. I would say though that you need to have strong feet to do it, even though it strengthens your feet. So it's to be done with awareness. And I used to have a barefoot channel, barefoot running channel, but actually it was very popular. I got thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of views, but I think a lot of it was more about my feet than barefoot running. So now I have a just a running channel and I occasionally go barefoot.
back almost and I'm just going to finish so it'll be about a four mile run and I'm just going to finish with six strides because I like to do strides at the end of a run don't always do them especially not when it's not a sunny so this is a great opportunity oh the water's going over our feet <laughs> It's very good to keep the stride length, keep the feet strong, just keep running fast. Nice finale. We did intend to have a coffee down at Palmara, but it's a big, big, big surfing beach and there are lots of coffee shops, but packed. Pack, pack, pack. So we thought we'd come back here to our little coffee shop in the sand to enjoy the post run coffee. I do love, love, love running in my bare feet. And I suppose spikes actually are like, are like bare feet. So here I'm having more of a barefoot time. And when I was first in London, I did run a few barefoot races. I ran the, the Battersea Park 5k bare feet and I ran the Landmark Half Marathon in bare feet. And a 10k, some, oh, I ran the mile, I ran the Vitality Mile, and I ran a 10k around London. And it was fun, and it is fun running in bare feet, but I then decided I'd like to see how fast I can run, and I can train better, and I can run a bit faster in shoes. I know there are people. Was a Bibi Bakila who ran and won the marathon in Rome. He ran it in bare feet, said it was no different. To me, it is a bit different, but I do love it. So, thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed it, please put the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time.